Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Texas Instruments TI-30XS Multi-View Calculator. To do this we'll use the second function key that looks like this located here, the mode key that looks like this located here, the probability key with the second function of angle that looks like this located here, the conversion key that looks like this located down here, and the fraction key that looks like this located here. We can easily convert between degrees and radians on this calculator. For example, if we want to convert 45 degrees into its radians, all we have to do is first set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. You can see at the top here, my calculator is in degrees mode. To change this, we press the mode key, scroll over from DEG to RAD, and press enter, and then press clear. You should now see an RAD at the top of your screen. Next, we enter our degrees, so we have 45 degrees, Next, we have to tell our calculator that this 45 is in degrees. To do that, we press second, and then the PRB key, which will bring us to this menu here. The first option is the degree symbol, and that's the one we want because we're using degrees, so we press enter. Now we see 45 degrees on our screen. Since we're in radians mode, if we press enter again, we see we get a result of pi over 4. So we know 45 degrees is pi over 4 radians. If we want that as a decimal, we can press the conversion key here and see pi over 4 converts to 0 0.7853, etc. radians. Another example, let's say we were given 180 degrees and want to convert that to radians. We're already in radians mode, so that's good. Next, we put our degrees on the screen, so 180, and then second angle, and choose the degrees to let our calculator know this is 180 degrees. And we press enter, and we see that we get 180 degrees is equal to pi radians. And if we want to get that as a decimal, we can press the conversion key, and so we get pi is equal to 3.1415, etc. What if we're given radians and want to get that as degrees? Well, to start, we need to remember to set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So since we're going to degrees, we want to go mode, highlight the DEG, and press enter, and clear. And now we see a DEG at the top of our screen, so we know we're in degrees mode. Next, we enter our radian. So we have pi over 4 here, which is a fraction. To do this, we can press the n over d, or fraction key here, which puts a fraction on our screen. And then we put our pi over 4. There we go. And now we need to tell our calculator this is a radian. So second PRB angle, there we go. And if we scroll down on this list, number 4 will give us R. So we press enter on R, and we have pi over 4 radians. In degree mode, press enter, and we see we get 45 degrees, which is correct. Our other example, if we want to get pi in degrees, since we're already in degrees mode again, all we have to do is press pi and then tell our calculator this is radians. So we go second, PRB, scroll down to number four there, the radians, pi radians, and press enter and see that we get 180 degrees, which is correct. 
All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.